Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I'm going to review the OPPO UDP203. This is the first 4K Blu-ray player made by OPPO, and I was super excited to get my hands on it. And now that I've had it for about a month, I want to give you my overall thoughts and if it's worth the pickup. Let's get to it. So I did an unboxing of the OPPO when I originally got it, and I must say that I was very, very impressed with the build quality. Now this is made of full metal, and I'm coming from the Samsung Blu-ray player. So that was all plastic, very light, and very cheaply made, especially the player itself. It just felt absurdly light and very plasticky. Now this is a full metal body construction and is nice heavyweight, heavy duty, and will fit perfectly on top of your receiver unit or anything like that. It is a normal 17 inch rack mount. Now with this uh, OPPO player comes a fantastic remote. And that is one thing that I must say that was a downside about the Samsung was the remote. It was a little cheap remote. And it doesn't matter too much because I have the Harmony Hub, which I control as a universal remote. But it's always nice to come with a good remote. Now, I can't say anything higher enough than I'm already saying about the OPPO's remote. The OPPO's remote is probably the best remote that I've ever seen come accompanied with a device. It has an LED light that automatically turns on when the remote is lifted, and it has a dedicated button for literally everything. And when I mean everything, I mean it actually has a dedicated resolution button where you could change what resolution it's in, and a dedicated HDR button where you could turn on and off HDR, which is very good for me when I'm reviewing movies. Another big pro about this player is that it plays every type of content, whether it's a new form of CD, whether it's really high quality CDs, whether it's the Super Audio, whether it's DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, it plays every type of media you throw at it. And to branch on that, if you plug in with a USB, an external hard drive, it plays every type of media file I've thrown at it. I've thrown at MOV, MP4s, FLC files, and it's played everything flawlessly. Now the menu to navigate the player is very modern and very sleek. I was actually kind of surprised by this. I wasn't expecting such a sleek, nice interface. And overall, I really like this as a nice home hub for my entertainment console as a whole. Now, another pro I must say about this player is the upscaling in general of DVDs. Now, the upscaling of DVDs in general on the Samsung really was not very good, and it made DVDs pretty much unwatchable for me. I do have some DVDs, but I watch them rarely. When I picked up the OPPO, what I really wanted to see was when I throw in a DVD, how it would upscale that, and I must say that it does a fantastic job of upscaling the DVD. It makes it look as close to Blu-ray quality as possible, um, I mean, we know that's not possible with a 480p disc, but it does make it look very, very good on my 4K OLED and makes DVDs that were once not watchable very much watchable. Now, also, the Blu-ray upscaling is fantastic. Comparing that to the Samsung, this thing blew it out of the water. I watched a simple comedy such as Superbad I gave a watch, and the upscaling looks amazing. It makes the colors pop. It makes the resolution and the detail and the clarity all look highly enhanced. Now let's get to the best part, the 4K Blu-ray. So I bought this for the 4K Blu-ray capability. And let me tell you, this is one expensive player coming in at $549. I was on the fence for a while about getting this for 4K Blu-rays when it's the Xbox One S, the Samsung. All of these can be had for the sub $250 range. The reason I sprung for this one was because of the build quality. One. Two, this is the only player currently that has Dolby Vision on the market. And three... I've heard that this player is just the best at playing back UHD discs. Now, I'll be honest, when I, before I picked up the player, I kind of wrote that off. I figured a uh, disc player is a disc player. What could really be the difference? And let me tell you, there is a substantial difference. All of my 4K discs look substantially better. I must say, like, I've watched Passengers that I rewatch. That looks substantially better on my OPPO. I can just tell out more detail, more clarity. It's just a sharper overall image. Clearly, it's not night and day. We're just talking difference in players here. But it overall gives a much better image. I think it just renders the image better. Now, let's get to the Dolby Vision component. So this is the only player with the Dolby Vision um, that can read Dolby Vision discs. So I have Power Rangers, Fate and the Furious, and both Despicable Me's. And let me tell you, they blew me out of the water. Dolby Vision is insane. I love it. Now don't get me wrong, it's not a night and day difference with HDR. They are two in the same. 
They coincide together. It's mostly just about licensing rights at this point. But considering this is the only player with Dolby Vision, and if you have something like the LG OLED, you're going to want this because the Dolby Vision on disc is amazing. Um, like, let's just say comparing it to the Kong Skull Island Dolby Vision streaming I had on Voodoo. Don't get me wrong, that Dolby Vision looks fantastic. It looks great, but Dolby Vision on disc really blows that out of the water with the uncompressed um, 100 megabyte per second stream. It, it's fantastic. And really, there's no cons that I could say about this besides the price. 549 is very steep for just a player. Um, one con I could say is that it doesn't have any apps built in like Netflix or Hulu, so you can't get any 4K streaming apps on there. But all the apps that we're buying, especially these 4K HDR TVs, have the apps built into them. So I don't consider that a con. I personally don't want it bogging down my Blu-ray. I don't want it to have a slower startup time because of the apps. And that was Oppo's reasoning behind it. And I very, very much agree with that. Last thing I'll hit on as an awesome pro is just the disc loading capabilities. Now, compared to the Samsung, this thing loads discs a lot quicker. Now, I would say about half the time, and it is very, very good and consistent at just loading a disc up, saving where you are if when you shut off in the middle of the movie to always resume in the proper spot. And overall, I really just can't say enough good things about this Oppo. Over the last month that I've had it, I've been blown away. I've rewatched pretty much every Blu-ray I have, uh, 4K Blu-ray I have on it. Blu-rays, DVDs, and everything has blown me away. The screen itself gives so much detail between time remaining. It shows you if HDR is on. It shows you what type of audio you're getting. It shows you what type of disc you're playing. There really isn't any more information I could ask for. This is just the all-in-one package with all the correct inputs that really, if you want to step your home theater to the next level, this is what you need. Anyway, guys, let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments down below. Throw me a like if you like this video and subscribe down below for more content. Have a good night, guys.